Welcome to Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming, Arizona. This is Sandy, and I have been out picking broccoli out of my garden. And this type of broccoli is called, actually, asparagus broccoli. It makes a bigger head than just like broccolini. And all those stalks are just so tender to use. And so I am going to make some broccoli cheese soup today. And so when you send that knife through it, it should just really just feel like butter. It should just go right through it. If it's, if it's tough, cut part of that off and throw it in your compost pile or give it to the chickens or something to eat. And I'm going to cut up any of the larger pieces, but I will send it through my food processor later, but I'm going to let it cook for a little bit before I do that. Now, don't forget that you can use those leaves on your broccoli. So I have everything in a great big stock pot and I'm going to bring that to a boil and I'm going to let it boil so they start to get tender. Now, depending on the size that you cut them, that might take five minutes. It might take 15 minutes, but just take your time and you'll be able to tell when those thicker pieces have started to get soft. And then we can take it right through a strainer. So I've strained it all and it's um, sitting in a couple bowls. There's the last of it that's in the strainer. And I put a half a cup of butter, butter, one stick of butter in my stock pot. I just rinsed it out quickly and I'm going to melt that completely. I have it about a medium heat. And what the idea is I need to make a roux and a roux will thicken up the milk that we use later. So that butter is basically melted. So I'm going to start with about a half a cup of butter and I'm going to um, just mix that up and it, it'll start to get thicker and thicker. And I probably have to put in another fourth. So a total of about three quarters of a cup of flour. And it just depends on your flour, how much butter you use. There's never really a recipe. So see how it's gotten really, really thick. That's what I want. And so I'm going to pour in about four cups of milk right now. Now I like to use whole milk, but I guess that's up to you on what type of milk you're going to use. And then I'm going to blend it so that all of that roux incorporates into the milk because then when it starts to warm up, it will thicken our stock for our soup. So I'm putting a bunch of salt and pepper in there. Um, I'm using a grinder, but you could just use any kind of salt and pepper. And I dumped all of the broccoli in there. Now you can see I need more milk, which I'm going to add in just a minute. Now, any other seasonings you might want to put in there, you know, at our house, we love our garlic and garlic is just so healthy and stuff for you. I think I'm actually going to add a little bit more milk because it's still pretty thick. So I chopped up two very large cloves of garlic. I leave it on my counter for 10 minutes before I put it in there. So that's incorporated into the soup now. Now I'm going to use my Cuisinart and I'm just going to pulverize it all. Now the more you chop it up, the smaller those pieces are going to be. And you can see it's starting to get thick now. And that's what I like, a thick creamy soup. But the other thing I have to add into there is cheese. There is a lot of different kinds of cheese you can use, but I've always kind of liked Colby Jack. It's an easy and expensive cheese. And so I'm just taking that sharp knife again, and I'm just going to chop those pieces of cheese up just so that they melt a little bit faster. Now I don't want to heat my soup up too quickly because I don't want to boil the milk and I want it to continue to get thick. Now I have a whole bunch of it cut. I'm going to actually cut up that whole chunk and maybe even another one <laughs> because it's a big stock pot. And see there is our soup. It is just looking fabulous and it's thick. Now for some people that might be a little bit too thick. I like, like, like it that way, but you could add more milk to it. I like a few crackers in my soup, but we are going to have Joe test taste it. Joe's going to try the broccoli cheese soup. He's at his computer, but I gave him a bowl of soup so he can try it. Now this is the broccoli from the garden. I added um, homegrown garlic to it. Um, some cheese, milk, and a roux.
a little bit of salt and pepper. That's tasty, baby. That's so good. Jo Joe says it's tasty. It's real good. <laughs> On a cold day like that, it's only 60 degrees out. <laughs> I hope you make lots of different soups this winter and as always like subscribe share with the world and we are going to enjoy some broccoli cheese soup